go here, search. All right. I'm going to show you how to do the search. All right. Now, click on this. And it will open. It will open. It will open on your phone, your tablet. I'm using it on a desktop right now because it's, it's best. It works best on a desktop. You can see things better. This will open in Lake Village, Indiana. This is where my office is. I live at the Lake Village Airport down south of Lowell. Live out here in the sticks. But it's all right. And you'll see this house here. He's my neighbor right across the runway from me. $624,000. Well, okay. You're not going to probably buy that house as a first time home buyer. Okay. I live in the subdivision. I've lived there 30 years. The reason I live in a fancy subdivision is because I bought property when I was a young man. And that's the whole premise of this whole website <laughs> to show you how to make some money uh, flipping properties. That's what we're trying to do, people. Okay. If you don't want to flip properties, if you just want to buy a house and live there till you die, great. I'll help you do that. But if you want to make money in real estate, that's, that's my forte. All right. Making money. Okay. Let's do this. Let's put in our price parameter. Now you're going to know, remember the little pitch that you might have responded to, little ad, uh, the little ad that said uh, you can own a property for the same money or less than what it would rent for. Well, that's a true statement. Absolutely true. I don't have time to explain it all to you right now, but I'll get into it with you. And you'll study the website. I, it's, it's more than I can do in this little webinar. But let's put this in. Put in 200,000 to three and a quarter. Okay. Now, why do I put in those numbers? Because that kind of 325, let me do it right. Uh, that can save it. All right. Okay. Now you see you're going to get houses between 200 and three and a quarter. All right. We're going to backtrack. We're in Indiana now. Okay. But it'll load. If you have a fast connection, it'll load very fast. All right. Here's northwestern Indiana. You'll be able to find properties to buy in the five counties of northwestern Indiana. That's the Ganier MLS that I'm a member of. And this loads so fast. And you get, you got real, this is, this is real-time data. I mean, it's it, like it updates every five minutes. It doesn't update Sunday night. Right now at 3.47 a.m. doesn't update right now because nobody's put any new listings in. But if people are putting listings in, you know, Monday through Saturday or even Sunday, it'll update. I think it updates on Sunday. I believe it does. It's very fast update, faster than Zillow, I think. Okay, when you get into higher density areas in Chicago, look here. You always think this is a, a more expensive area. It is a more expensive area. But, but, <laughs> Because there's so much population density, there's a lot of things to look at in, in, in Chicago land. What's this here? That's three and a quarter. See here? Now, three and a quarter in Illinois cannot buy as much as, in, as three and a quarter in uh, Indiana. And taxes are going to be higher in, in Illinois. Uh, but if you, got a li if you work in the loop and you, need to, you want to be in Illinois, Okay, do it. But I can also sell you something in Indiana where taxes are lower. Maybe you want to be more out in the country and you don't like living way up with people right on top of you. It's all right. Whatever works for you. Whatever turns you on. Okay. This house is three and a quarter. Okay. What do you think that house would rent for? I'll tell you right now what it would rent for. That house would rent for about three Jesels a month. 3,000, 31, 32, something like that. It would, all right? That's what it would cost you to rent that house, all right? I want you to come down here. Mortgage calculation. See this? You could own the house for 1740 with 20% down. But hey, kids, we're not putting 20% down. We're not going to do it. We're going to put 6% down which is about 20 grand. That's what's called leverage. Okay. Now I'm going to explain something else to you. It ain't, you got to compare apples to apples, not apples to oranges. 
when these pundits go on TV or something, they say, well, the rent is 1400 and buying it is 1400 and What's the difference? The difference is the tax shelter. I'm not supposed to talk too much about tax shelter, but I'll give you the information, the, the basics. and It's all different. But if you're under 750000 mortgage, well, I'm not supposed to talk about tax stuff. All right, you talk to your tax advisor. You people in first time first time home buyers are in the lower end of this. Okay, you can write off all your interest right now. You can write off your property tax, all of it right now. If you have a home office, you can write off the home office square feet. Do you understand me? Do you understand what I'm saying? So you get more, you go to home your home uh, your uh, your uh, the place where you work, human resources, you go to human resources and change your withholding. Hey, that's what I did. When I was buying property, I didn't, I didn't pay any taxes because I was buying income property. You get depreciation also with income property. I could, I could write a book on this kind of stuff, the tax shelter you get, but I'm not supposed to talk about taxes because I'm not an accountant. <clears throat> talk to your accountant on this. Talk to your tax man. Even, even uh, you know, even H&R Block will tell you this. When you first buy a property, most of this is interest, kids. It is. If you're paying a, a payment of six, uh, this is on a 30-year 30, 30 amortization, 30 years, let's get the proper interest rate. This is five, I think we're 5.33 today. Okay, there's a link on here. Okay, that'll change the payment a little bit. This, is, this does not equate to 2057 per month because this, uh, this payment, Buying the house, and this is with 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 you know let this about I don't know what is it six percent down something like that six or seven percent down is probably what the average first time home buyer is paying. Okay, that's what they're paying now. That's what they're putting down. I mean, you could almost sell a car and raise the cash to do this. Okay, say it's seventeen hundred is principal and interest. Guess what? Probably 1300 of that is pure interest, more than that. All right? The monthly property taxes is 270, all right? Well, what is that times 12? That's a 100% deduction, kids. When I say kids, everybody's younger than me. I'm 72 years old. That's not I'm not being uh, I'm not talking down to you now. I'm just telling you the truth. So this is not the same as a 2057 uh, uh, payment for rent because that's just thrown away. You're getting all these big tax advantages. And, and what you do is you go to home and human resources at work and you say, hey, I want to raise my de dependents. I just bought a house. So don't take so much out of my check. So now you get more cash to, to make your payments. Do you, understand what I, do you understand where I'm going with this? All right. All right, you got lots of nice pictures. I want you to vet the property and look at it. What did I estimate you would rent that for? About three grand a month? That's about right. That's about right. I'm going to show you it's so much cheaper in the long term to buy. Okay? You don't need to buy some ratty house. You can buy a nice house. Okay? You can do it. If I can get you qualified, if uh, if I can get you qualified with my bro my mortgage broker or any mortgage broker, you uh, with you work with me. I'm gonna put you in a house in just a few weeks from right now. Really, all right. Check your the mortgage rate every day, every day when you look and plug in the mortgage rate. Yeah, five point three three. Yeah, I was doing that with another guy this morning. So the fact is, this is for thirty year fixed. You know, back when it, let, let, let's see the let's see back in the old days when I was buying, I was buying in here in the early '80s. Interest rates were 17, 18 percent then. Did that prevent me from buying anything? No, I just structured the deals differently. All right, people, I don't care what the interest rate is. High interest rates just soften the price. Okay, it just back and forth. Very low interest rates, the price goes nuts. Okay. So don't get too hung up about this, all right? It's the affordability stuff, all right? Do you get where I'm going with this? Look at it. If you like it, I want you to see this number right here. That's the listing number. You send me that listing number and say, hey, Tom, 
we like this house. When I say we, because it's mostly going to be you and another adult. Okay, we like this house. Find out about it. Go call the agent on it. Get the details on it in, in multiple that I can't see here. You know, there'll be some special things. There might be some red flags that I got to know about. And then I'm going to counsel you on it. Now, this is Illinois, okay? This is Illinois. Let's go back to our property search. That's Illinois. But maybe you don't want Illinois. Maybe you want Indiana, okay? Go back. Let it load. If I have kind of a slow connection. Still, it's loading pretty good. Uh, you know, maybe you want to be in, you know, where the real deals are for the money or down in, down in the sticks. You know, I li personally, I like living in the country, but you don't have to. But remember now, Elon Musk has got Starlink coming, okay? If you work at home, you can work anywhere. You know, you live out in the country. You live out in the sticks and the cornfields. You sure can. You don't have to live up here in Hammond or someplace. You know, if you work at home, you can work anywhere. The Midwest still has some great values. Okay, let's let's look at what three hundred thousand will buy in. Uh, well, that doesn't active under contract. Well, this is a pending deal at two sixty. All right, people from Illinois are buying in Indiana. That's why, that's kind of why I'm a member of two states. Okay, they're buying. More people are coming into from Illinois are coming into Indiana all the time. Okay, there's lots of things to look at. That's my point. Set your parameters. Set your price. What did we set it at? Two hundred to three and a quarter. That will handle the renter that's paying a thousand to twenty two hundred roughly. Okay. Put in your beds and baths. Then you won't see so many properties to buy. Put in the types. This is set up, the default is set up as condos and houses. If you want to take condos away, say, hey, I'm never going to live in a condo. I hate living in condos. That would be me, but you may like condos. You know, so you got somebody to take care of the grounds and do all kinds of stuff. Of course, you pay for that. There's a homeowner's association fee that you got to pay every month, which you don't have with a house. Uh, unless, you, unless you're in a real fancy subdivision. We have a homeowners association, but it's not very much. Um, do you understand how this works? You can just go back and forth from state to state. Put in your price, put in the bath, the type first. I want you to look at this, but the first thing we got to do, if you're going to work with me or any professional realtor, we got you, we got to get you pre-approved, all right? So this is this is the search stuff, okay? And this is how it works. You can go from state to state with me. I can show you properties in both states, and I'm a member of CenturyLock in both states, which means, you know, most of these houses have CenturyLock on them, which means we can open them right up. You know, I have an app on my phone, and we just open the, the thing right up. Okay, uh, this is the, this is how to set your parameters and how to move back and forth, okay? And scroll up with your wheel on your mouse, okay? And you'll see all the stuff that's available. It changes all the day, every day. And I want you to look at it twice a day, particularly in the area. You can zoom into areas and you say, I really want this area around, uh, what is this, Lake of the Four Seasons? Yeah, Lake of, Lakes of the Four Seasons. I really love Lake of the Four Seasons, okay? You can zoom up on it and check it twice a day and see what's new, okay? You know? Whatever you want. I'm not the person that's going to live there. So don't listen very much to me. But don't buy a modular for resale. Don't do that now. Do you know what a modular is? A modular is usually seven foot ceilings. You know? It's, I, don't want to talk, I don't want to say anything disparaging about somebody's house. Other than I want to talk about the value at resale time. Modulars ain't it. Uh, they're just not. Condos aren't it. Condos do not have the liquidity. T condos and townhouses do not sell as well as single family homes. Okay? Single family homes, if you don't want to be a landlord, single family homes are about the best in terms of liquidity. They sell fast. All right? You can get out of them fast.